Hi guys, in today's lesson, we are going to be going over how to trade Bollinger Bands. Now, this is a bit trickier. It's not the most simple indicator in the world. So if you don't understand, don't worry. You can go over the lesson a few times. You can ask a question in the comments section. I'm sure we can get back to you. Uh, apologies. Obviously, I am trading on the foreign exchange as well. Um, trade crypto and foreign exchange. But to get back to the point here, we are going to be trading the Bollinger Bands. So I'm going to be showing you how to actually make money with them in the market. So again, we are on this 15 minute time, line, time frame. But if we go to the indicators tab and we find Bollinger Bands, let's quickly just go over what they are, what they actually mean and what we're going to look for. We won't spend a lot of time on this because I want to really just get stuck into how we can trade it. But let's just go over it really quickly. So John Bollinger created it in the 1980s, right? So it consists of three lines, your upper band, your lower band, and your simple moving average. So your simple moving average is just basically set to a period of 20 days. Historical data, the last 20 days, what's going on? What is the moving average? What is the average of the markets when it's moving? And the upper and lower bands just basically measure the volatility. So obviously the market goes up, the bands go up, and when the markets go down, the bands go down. And basically what it's showing you is that when it breaks out of these bands, it basically shows you whether it's oversold or overbought. Right? So if we go down here, we can see that, what to look for, high and low prices. When prices move up near the upper bands or even break through the upper band, many traders would see that security as being overbought. And it's the same with crypto coins as well. And obviously vice versa. When it breaks through these lines, it's obviously oversold. So we would go in for a buy. So what can we see here if this is going to allow us to actually have a look at what's going on? Which it should. Apologies, guys. Give me one second to see if I can find it. No, I believe it's somehow... There it is. Cool. All right. So if we zoom in on this example here, this is what we can see. So the price starts right around the SMA, this line right here, and then begins to drift down towards the lower band. Price eventually breaks through the lower band, and can be seen as oversold conditions and therefore a buy opportunity. Price does indeed rise back towards the SMA. So let's see what that looks like in the markets in real time. Obviously the market's just moving around, it's just doing its thing. And then all of a sudden we get this. Now, unlike the other breakthroughs to the left, such as here, 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 do you see how this candlestick has completely opened and closed above the band, which is sitting right in here? That is what we are looking for, guys. Note how far away the SMA is as well. So what would we do? We'd go in for a short. We'd put our stop loss right at the top of that wick, and then we'd try and find exactly where the SMA is right there, which is a one to two. We can see within half an hour, we make it. We make that one to two. It's a perfect example. Let's continue and go over and see what's happening again. <clears throat> Wait for another example to occur. Now, it might take some time, mind you. But again, what can we see here? This candlestick, one, two. Do you see how the one that we hopped in was fully above nothing was touching it like there's a small wick there before it started to drop down right but here we can still see that it's slightly in this area here we want it to be fully out from the candlestick so what do we do we hop into a short position we put our stop loss here and then we'd aim all the way down here now, this one might not actually get it. This is a very extreme example. This is a 7.87. And what we can see is this trend is extremely strong. You really do not want to be hopping in when the trend is extremely strong because it can still go up. 
it's still a lot more likely to go up when the market is not as volatile and is not as producing as many huge candlesticks. That's the ideal conditions to go in because let's see what happens here. Again, we get taken out straight away. So there's more to look in the markets than just saying, hey, what's going on? You also have to look at the market conditions. Now you can see that the market is slightly slowing down. The SMA is catching up, right? It's not as volatile. And now here's a better opportunity for us to actually look at where we can enter. So <clears throat> we get our first candlestick over here. Again, there's a bit of volatility but it's not as extreme as what we saw down here. So is it the perfect thing for us to enter? Maybe not, but let's just see and have a look. We remember that not all trades are going to be winners. So we put that there. We aim for our risk to reward to be where the SMA is at that time. It's kind of volatile, but it's come out of an area of low volatility, right? So let's just see what happens. Go ahead and see what happens. We make it in 15 minutes. So that's perfect. What did we wait for, guys? We waited for the market to slow down. Yes, two big candlesticks came out, but was it as extreme as what's going on over here? Not at all. About half as, half as extreme, half as volatile. We waited for that candlestick to open and close completely out of the range. Then we came down and we hit the SMA. So within two trades, because realistically you wouldn't have taken our second one, you would have made 2% two, two there and roughly 2% there again. So you're going to make the best part of 4%. So that's what you want to look for when you're using Bollinger Bands, guys. So hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you. If not, again, you can leave a, your question in the comments section and then we can get back to you at a later point. Until then, guys, stay tuned. I know we're going to bring out a whole lot more stuff for you to trade on and uh, stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye guys.